good evening everyone uh, as uh, from today i have started a uh, journey as a youtube educator and uh, today in the morning i have uploaded an introductory video on this uh, scope i hope you have all uh, seen that video and liked it and subscribe to my channel so as i promised from today onwards i will be uploading various courses on various uh, for various competitive exams across the state and the country so in this series uh, the first topic that i am uploading today is the assam history series as you can see in the first slide and this part uh, is the part 1 and it will con continue and it will go on like this and if you like and if you subscribe to my channel and subscriber increases then i will be motivated to make more videos because it takes lots of hard work lots of study and uh, lots of references across various texts so that you get uh, the most of it Uh, so today is the Assam History Series Part One. Topic is Prehistoric Assam with special reference to uh, mythological context. So let's begin. Prehistoric Assam. So what was the prehistoric Assam? The word Assam was not there in the prehistoric time, as we all know from various sources. Uh, since uh, the prehistoric evidences or what we call as facts is not available as such so from the available resources of various dynasties or the inscriptions of or the tamralipis that we have we have uh, many historians who claim this facts so i have consulted many books and uh, many uh, research papers then i have concluded this that some believe that the earliest inhabitants of assam were probably of austric stock tom des proto australoids speak speaking mon khmer language so as we know when uh, the east continent and countries were building the most of the people were migrated from here and there in search of food in search of inhabitation in search of domestication of animals and in search of agricultural domestication and all these things so uh, the in uh, in the region of this uh, so called present day assam which was not uh, the earlier name it was na earlier it, the name was something different uh, in the pre in the coming slides we will know what was the name so many people were migrated to this region so the common term which is later used was uh, aryans but be before them there were dravidians australoids mongoloids and many people have uh, come to this region so many historian believe that the earliest inhabitants of assam were probably the austric stock uh, and they were called as proto australoids they were not truly australoids but called as a proto australoids and they speak a language which is called the mon khmer language so in some of the uh, tribal communities uh, in and around assam today also they also speak in little quantities in the language called mon khmer so then then after them the influx of mongolian origin tribes mongoloids uh mongoloids were uh, where we can see the present day uh, st plains or st tribes or st hills they were they, they belong to the mongoloid group they were the second uh, uh, migrants to the region so it was the, the information was given in the sir edward uh, gate book so i have collected this information from there Uh, so they came to this region 3 to 4000 years ago next came the aryans so we know the aryans were the earliest known migrants to the region called india so they came to india and they settled in the various parts so they settled in in uh, chota nagpur plateau in balochistan you just name a region they have settled all there so they came to this farmers place called uh the assam region present day assam and they in in uh, in their language in the vedic literature eastern india is known as the mlesa country mm, the assamese term will be mleso the mlesa country in the later vedic period uh, between 7 uh, between 6 to 7 century the brahmana period that is basically the brahmanization of the entire region or the entire country uh, to be precisely there was a traditional migration of aryans to the western part of assam up to the river sadi nira or korotoya respectively okay so uh, the uh, the uh, since the aryans were the community who uh, were the traditional migrators so they migrated 
to the western most part of assam up to river corridor so the river corridor was also a very significant figure in the ancient assam we will come to know in the uh, following slides so where these uh, things were written actually from where this information were delivered to the historians these were written in the scription of brahmana salastamba palas pala dynasties in uh, plenty of evidences of arian settlement in assam region and also hints at the legends of naraka so brahmana uh, salastamba pala were the dynasties that ruled this part between the river uh, korotoya and sardinari so we will come to know about this in the later slides and in the later videos also so uh, you have to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more updates okay and the legends of naraka then there was a king or there was a asur king called naraka and he was a very famous king and we will uh, uh, understand about him in the following videos so today we are only basically de dealing with the mythological aspects of prehistoric assam so coming to the next slide there are numerous non aryan dialects of assam all belonging to the tibeto sinese family uh, so there were aryans who migrated to this region but there were non aryans also so basically they were the Uh, tribal communities belonging to mongoloid group so they they were the they have dialects okay they dialects means they have different languages who, which were not written they were only uh, they were only a mode of communication verbally so dialect is that uh, is a part of language uh, dialect may be or written or unwritten form also so all these dialects or their languages belong to the tibeto sinese family mainly to the tibeto burmese family as for example naga spoken in naga hills kuki chin in manipur kasar and the lusai hills and boro which claims practically all the surviving non aryan languages of brahmaputra valley the garo hills not kasar and some other kosari mes lalung rabhain sutia okay so now this is this interesting fact uh i guess this fact is new to you so i have uh, emphasized uh, this fact by making it a uh, dark that is khasi is the only surviving language this of the earlier mongoloid invad invaders in india so if uh, someone is taking uh, language as his or her optional subject or um, uh uh anthropology as for example as a optional subject so this question is very common that which language is the only surviving mongoloid language in this region to the present day that is khasi khasi is the only surviving language of the earlier mongoloid invaders in the region now this is also a very interesting fact kindly pay attention to it slow progress of aryanization okay the aryans were trying to involve with the local people they were trying to inculcate they were trying to accumulate they were trying to accommodate themselves here they were trying to a culture there and with them so that that basically those things were termed as aryanization took place where the early tribe called kos there is a tribe named kos became a caste so how a how a tribe become a caste is is a something different and that is related to actually social anthropology so that that is not history so that i am not dealing with that particular subject so uh, that is this is the thing that up to which level aryanization took place in this region you can understand uh, from this fact that slow progress of aryanization the tri early tribe called kos became a caste which admits admits proselytes to hinduism so basically they got uh hindunized or bahmanized you may say so they were first they were tribe then they become a caste so there is a difference between a tribe and a caste okay coming to the next slide mythological review of assam since there are limited resources on mythological aspects as we know so mythology don't have a uh, you know uh, a particular facts that can uh, support this so we have only few limited uh, resources which uh, supports this theories actually these are these are theories that many people opine but they don't have any uh, valid proof or facts so 
since there are limited resources on mythological aspects so we call uh, we call only we can only draw a line to the available res, uh, resources called hindu epics of mahabharata puranas etc ramayana as such so the fact is according to mahabharata the ancient name of assam was prag jyotisha so this is a very 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 important fact that according to mahabharata the ancient name of assam was prag jyotisha and it extended bay of bengal to the south river korotoya to the west river uh, now the second most important fact is that river korotoya held equally important and sacred as ganga so from the earlier times in india the ganga is one of the most sacred and holy rivers and uh, the river korotoya in ancient india ancient assam basically was also held equally important and sacred as ganga and had a tutelary deity called kosika mermaid goddess so mermaid goddess so was worship in the country called matsya desa so all these facts are related to river korotoya and the mermaid goddess called kosika was uh, worship in the country called matsya desa so matsya desa was basically related to the the region covered by the korotoya river and this fact was uh, supported by n n asajja okay i was a very famous historian and i have read his many research papers and uh, uh, he made this opinion that uh, this matsya desa was governed or ruled by the mermaid goddess kosika according to puranas the puranas after after the epics the come then comes the puranas so puranas ancient assam was known as kamrupa and according to kalika purana so this kalika the this name the kalika purana is very very important and uh, from all the perspectives of history language yeah, either you are taking it as an optional or you are taking it as a general studies no matter what this kalika purana is very important which was written in 10th century kamaikha temple was as its center so kamaikha temple was the center of kamrupa according to kalika purana which was written in the 10th century according to bishnu purana kamrupa was extended in all direction of kamaikha for 100 yojanas or 450 miles 100 yojanas is equal to 450 miles which is actually incorporated the present day assam is bengal and bhutan so all three uh, regions were covered in this kamrupa according to bishnu purana and uh, kamrupa was extended in all direction that is if you if you put kamaikha temple in the center of your palm then all in all directions or uh, the other areas in all directions was kamrupa and it was extended up to 450 miles including present day assam is bengal and bhutan coming to the next slide then comes the famous tantra so first we have got the epics called mahabharata and ramayana then then there is written in puranas in the 10th century that is kalika purana and vishnu purana in 10th centuries then comes the tantra which is derived from tantrism then tantra tantras were written after puranas and the the, the most famous tantra was the yogini tantra and yogini tantra was co composed by kamrupi scholar minanath and it was also supported by the famous historian n n asajja in 17th century in uh, but there is uh, a little uh, uh, clarification here is that the term kamrupi scholar menanath was supported by the famous historian n n asajja whereas in edward gate book it was written as that igune tantra was composed by some unknown author i don't know which is uh, why there it is written but it is not unknown writer menanath was Uh, the kamrupi scholar who wrote yogini tantra according to anana sajjar uh, sajjar sir okay in 17th century described the extended boundary to kamrupa which included whole of brahmaputra valley bhutan rangpur district bangladesh coast bihar parts of memen singh district and possibly garo hills meghalaya okay so according to yogini tantra kamrupa uh, was a area which included the whole of brahmaputra valley bhutan rangpur district of bangladesh present day bangladesh coast bihar parts of mamen singh district possibly and possibly garo hills meghalaya and the next most important fact is that the whole kamrupa according to yogini tantra was divided into four clear divisions as follows first one is ratnapith 
फर्स्ट वन इज रत्नपीठ फर्स्ट वन इज रत्नपीठ फर्स्ट वन इज रत्नपीठ फ्रम करटया नर्थ बेंगल वेस्ट टू सांकोस रिभारिस्ट हियर द टर्म करटया वज मेसिंग आई नो समाउ मे बी टाइपिंग एर द्रम रिभार करटया अप नर्थ बेंगल वेस्ट टू सांकोस रिभार इस्ट देन कम पीट फ्रम सांकोस रिभार इस्ट टू रूपहि वेस्ट द रिभार रूपहि वेस्ट सुवर्ण पीठ विटुईन रूपहि एंड भरलि रिभार्स एंड सोमर पीठ फ्रम रिभार भरलि वेस्ट टू डिक्रंग इस्टार्ण कर्णार अफ आपार आसाम सो यू हेव टू रिमेम्बर और यू हेव टू क्लियरलि आंडारस्टेण्ड द फोर डिविजन देट वेर मेनशन इन दूनि तंत्र एंड इट इज भेरी इम्पर्टेन्ट बिकज दिस थिंगस आर डान इन द एरिया वाइज ओके सो दिस वेर बेसिकली दिस वेर बेसिकली कैटेगराइज ऑन द एरिया वाइज देट वज रत्नपीट कामपीट सवर्णपीट एंड सोमरपीट रत्न रत्नपीट इज फ्रम रिभार करटया नर्थ बेंगल वेस्ट टू सांकोस रिभार इस्ट कामापीट फ्रम सांकोस रिभार वेस्ट टू रूपहि रिभार इस्ट सवर्णपीट फ्रम रूपहि रिभार टू भरलि रिभार फ्रम सोमर सोमरपीट फ्रम रिभार भरलि वेस्ट टू डिक्रंग इस्टार्ण कर्णार अफ प्रेजेन्ट डे अपर आसान सो फाइनेलि उव कम टू देंड अफ दिस भिडिओ Let's recapitulate. Then we have our question answer section. What we have learned today about the origin and migration of Aryans and non-Aryans to the region called present-day Assam. There are some families and dialects of the migrated groups to the region. In mythological context, we have learned about the origin of various ancient names and their related sources to the present-day Assam. We have also understood about the geographical extent of ancient Kamrupa, present-day Assam. Now, coming to the question answer section. earliest inhabitants of assam were probably belong to which stock group dravidian mongoloid caucasoid austric option 4 austric a austric stock group were termed as or known as proto australoid proto mongoloid proto caucasoid proto nigroids option 1 proto australoids in vedic literature eastern india is referred to as dwarka bharata mlesa kamrupa option 3 mlesa which period in later vedic is known as brahmana period 1 to 2 century 4 to 6 century 9 to 10 century 6 to 7 century option 4 6 to 7 century non aryan dialects of ancient assam belongs to which family tibeto sinus family tibeto barmese family tibeto austric family tibeto assamese family option 1 tibeto sinus family according to bushno purana kamaikha temple was extended up to how many miles in all directions 450 miles 550 miles 650 miles 410 miles option 1 450 miles as we have already uh, learned this thing uh, which is the only surviving language of earliest mongoloid invaders khasi mar boro assamese option 1 khasi according to mahabharata the ancient name of assam was prakjotisha kamrupa assam kamatapur option 1 prakjotis Which river in ancient Assam held equal, uh, equally sacred as Ganges, Dikrong, Karatoya, Dibang, Dihang? Option two, Karatoya. The mermaid goddess Kosika was worshipped in which country? Madhya Pradesh, Kamrupa, Prakjotisha, Jinjiri. Option one, Madhya Pradesh. Kalika Purana was written in which century? 10th century, 11th century, 12th century, 17th century. Option one, 10th century. According to Kalika Purana. Which temple was the center of Kamrupa? Kamaikha, Umananda, Madan Kamdev, Navagra. Option one, Kamaikha. According to Vishnu Purana, 450 miles was equal to how many yojanas? Thousand. Option one, thousand. Option two, hundred. Option three, one ten. Option four, one twenty. Option two, hundred. According to historian N. N. Asaja, the famous Yogyakarta composed by. मीनानाथ भट्टदेव अनंत कंडली बन भट्ट अपशन वन मीनानाथ द फेमास योगिनी तंत्र वज कम्पोज इन हुई सेंचुरी फोर्टीन सेंचुरी सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी सेवेन्टीन सेंचुरी थार्टीन सेंचुरी सो दिस अपशन योगिनी तंत्र इट वज रिटेन एक्चुअलि इन देंटीन सेंचुरी बट इन साम केसेज इन साम बुक्स इट वज अल्सो रिटेन एज सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी सो द मोस्ट एप्रोप्रिएट एन्सार उल भी सेवेन्टीन सेंचुरी and depending on the fact that if it is written as 16th century that will also be a an answer so i have written as option 3 or 2 according to yogini tantra kamrupa was divided into how many divisions four on option 1 4 option 2 5 option 3 7 option 4 9 then option 1 4 
According to Egene Tronto, names of the four divisions of Kamrupa area was where Ratnapit, Kamapit, Subarnapit, Somarpit. Option 1. Option 2. Ratnapit, Dandapit, Subarnapit, Somarpit. Option 3. Ratnapit, Subarnapit, Somarpit, Kamapit. Option 4. Subarnapit, Ratnapit, Kamapit, Somarpit. So, the option will be 1. That is area-wise, Ratnapit, Kamapit, Subarnapit and Somarpit. This is the chronology and you have to very, very clearly understand this and very clearly remember this thing because this all these questions related to Yogini Tantra and Puranas or the epics are very, very important. Kindly go to these uh, questions and if you uh, have any doubt, please uh, comment and if you want to like uh, make some uh, uh, request or you have some ideas that you can share with me, you can comment me. And please subscribe to my channel, then uh, share it, like and place the bell icon for more updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.